Hello all and welcome back to Persona 5. I've already recorded this episode, but my actual recording software didn't work. So here we go again. Last time we were, uh, oh, um, Madarame had a change of, change of heart. So that happened. We are going to darts. Let's go. These stairs will take you to the Inogami line. This is the way to Kichi Joji. I'm getting excited. All right. Let's go. Oh, well, that wasn't actually voice acted. That's just what he says. Anyway, we've unlocked Kichi Joji. I've never actually been there. Popular with men and women of all ages, the streets are lined with shops. Find your own style. The unique styles on display may intimidate newcomers, but all are welcome. All right. So. Now, we're heading to an area that's outside of where your commuter pass works. So make sure you've got the fare. Long story short, there are places that too, but in real life too, uh, certain things are on like lines. Uh, so the JR lines are usually free if you have a pass, whereas anything outside of that, you have to pay. Um, or there might be a discount depending on where you're going or like what you're doing, but we have to pay. We have to pay 200 yen to get there. And I have no idea what happens if you don't have the fare to get there, by the way. So you do have to, it says you have to plan but those two, but the fare is never that expensive. It's like 200 yen, 160 yen, I think maybe 350. Is that say it is found up in the top right there? Yeah, I don't know what that billboard's for. Oh, so this is Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, it looks like there are a lot of shops here that you can't find in Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Huh, so it seems interesting. Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Aunt's not here today because she's busy, but I bet it'd be more fun to come here with some more people. I think the darts lounge is one block up from the main street. But since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. Okay, we're gonna do that. So let's just uh, take a quick look here. We are at San Porod. I don't know what that means, but we're heading in. Uh, I don't think there's anything really here at the entrance, but... Are you stalking me? Can you not stalk me for five minutes? Well, we have an information booth here. You, I have seen both like do this and don't do this and we're gonna Hi do there. this right now. Hello, we do our best to provide information regarding this area. Why don't you ask them about Kichi Joji? What would you questions? like to hear about? And then we have uh, one, two, three, four things to ask. Let's ask about this city. This is a little bit of reading, so you can you can just bypass this if you want. Well, Certainly, then. please allow me to explain. There are four different areas. On the promenade, you can find a fried food shop, a stationery store, a secondhand clothing store, and a temple. The ground beef cutlet at the fried food shop is delicious, but you will have to wait in line. If you take a left at the fried food shop, you'll see Retro Street. Here you can find a selection of cheek and sophisticated stores. There's also a jazz club at the end of the alley. Sometimes popular singers will go there, and the liveliness is inevitable. Who? I hope I explained it all right. Do you have any other questions? Uh, please continue. Of course. Yes. After passing Retro Street, you will see... I'm going to pronounce this probably wrong, but here we are. Rue de Chocho, which has a variety of fancy stores to visit. There is also a well-known healing crystal store selling power stones that provide real results. Not only that, but on Rue de Chocho, there is a lounge to enjoy darts and billiards. Excitement is inevitable. The last one is Harmony Alley, which is just like a drinking district. It's located just past his information desk. It has an old Japanese flavor, perfect for just enjoying the atmosphere. The inspiration is inevitable. Was that too much information for a minor? Well, that's about it for the city. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, what do you recommend? What I know, then? just the thing. Please allow me to explain. You're a minor, correct? If that's the case. If you go past the drinking district and reach Rue de Chocho, you'll find a darts and billiards lounge. It's actually a very casual place and people your age can walk in with no problem. Uh, what about somewhere unique? Oh Did yes, you know? one of the city's hidden gems is the temple in the promenade. It's even popular among young people who are looking for some guidance. Oh, maybe that doesn't really include students like you. If you're ever interested, you should check it out. And uh, let's ask about the stores. Certainly, okay. allow me to explain. There's a strange, excuse me, a unique secondhand clothing store here as well. It's located on the promenade street. The manager always greets me in the morning, but he's always saying, I specifically want sooty clothing and it's, and it's quite picky about what you bring in too. Hint, hint, by the way. 
Oh, and have you been to the incense store in Harmony Alley? It's actually opened quite recently. They have incenses that people have never even heard of before, and it's not a fishy store either. Uh, let's ask about anything I should know. Anything actually, you should know. Actually, yes, there's something I heard recently. About the fried food shop in the promenade, people say it's tedious to wait in line. And by nighttime, it's already sold out. So what are we to do if we want one? Well, they say on Sundays, they make more than usual. So in other words, if you go there on a Sunday night and the story I heard ends there. Anything else you would like to know? No, we're good. Come if in. you would like to know more about Kichi Joji, feel free to stop on by. Whew, that was quite a lot of information. I think we were able to broaden our insights about Kichi Joji. I want this now. I think there's something different that can happen later, but I just, I want that. So we're gonna move on. Let's uh, just start by exploring. Can I actually go up to any of these shops? Oh, I can. Let's uh, let's do that. We've got a sweet store here. Whoa, Whoa take a look at the showcase, dude. A Kichi Joji special, dorayaki with chestnuts and red bean paste. It almost looks like a hamburger. Oh, hey, did you just, did you just, I didn't realize she would pop up. Can, you, can I, can I talk to her? Hello, Mikoto, where is, where is the, there it is. My, my, what a coincidence. Ah, it really doesn't say much. Let's look at the hat store. A hats only store, huh? They've got so many of them. How many hats, how many heads could this store cover? That's a good question. Uh, what do we have here? We have a revolving sushi restaurant. A revolving sushi restaurant is a mysterious place, isn't it? I mean, why would the sushi be revolving? <laughs> I want to try expensive sushi that's not revolving one of these days. All right, well, let's um, let's stop into the stationery store here. So if you look at the map, you can see which stores are actually like you can go in. Um, I like to explore this area and I like to explore some other areas too. I mean, I can do that for Shibuya and stuff. So you can kind of see what else is there just to give a little bit of, um, I don't know, information. My Morgana senses are telling me that this store sells a lot of stuff that suits my taste. Mine too, Morgana. What the hell are Morgana senses? Well, um, let's take a look. All right, so we've got three like? things that we can buy here. We've got the watercolor postcard. I'm a big fan of postcards, by the way. Fountain pen. I don't know. I have a like sort of fountain pen. I really like it. And a leather pen case uh, for the gentleman, as it says on the right. And we're going to buy one of those. Thank you for your purchase. We look forward to your next visit. I didn't think you'd actually buy something. Did your senses <laughs> tell you to get one? Yes, we want that for someone. We've got a cell phone shop. There's so many types of phones, but I feel like they all look the same. Man, I want a phone of my own, preferably the newest one out there. What do we have across the way here? So we have the, uh, oh, Taiyaki shop. Mm. Come on, they call it a fish, but it's only Taiyaki, right? Do you think I'd really be satisfied with this? But check out what it says. We'll, we will provide a fresh and organic piece every time. Sounds pretty badass. Fresh and organic, guess we can't judge a fish by its cover. Can't judge a fish by its scales. We've got a uh, socks superstore. Wow. It's a place that only sells socks. It's quite a sight when all you see are socks. Oh yeah, the socks I'm wearing have holes in them. I gotta get myself a new pair. Yeah, they actually do have sock stores, but uh, we went past a couple of them when we were in Tokyo and I really wanted to go in because they had some really cool designs. Hey. Oh dude, check out that sign in the store. It says, bring your sooty clothing here. Sooty clothes? <laughs> Let's see what they've got. Welcome. If you're looking to sell clothes, well, what is that? Can I take a look at that? Don't worry. I won't steal it. All right. So we're in some place where we can sell sooty armor. This guy is reacting to clothing that we got from Shadows. Seems like he knows what he's talking about. I've been here for 40 years and I've never seen clothing that makes my heart chill. All right. I'll buy it, but I'll only buy it for the price it deserves. So we have a point card system here. For each piece of clothing you sell here, we'll give you 10 points. Once you obtain enough points, you can trade them for a prize. So feel free to let us take that clothing off your hands. Hmm. Not only is he gonna hmm. buy them from us, he's gonna give us points for them too. We should definitely come back here. All right, so there's two options for doing the city clothing. You can wash them, which will give you like other armor, or you can sell them. Welcome. I'm going to sell them. And uh, for the record, the tag on the left side is a uh, Jack Frost on that clothes. So we're gonna sell that. So you sold 21 pieces of clothing. That'll give you 210 points. And um, let's check the prizes. 
We have four prizes here. We've got Awake Incense, which clears all non-special ailments. We've got Quick Spray, which lowers all foes' accuracy and evasion for three turns. We have a belt that gives you uh, Auto Masku. I think that is the uh, evasion and uh, accuracy. I think that basically you get that at the start of a battle. And a clothing grab bag, which contains four sets of used clothes. It's a surprise, but it can be kind of nice depending on what you get. We're not gonna do anything with this for right now. We just want that cash. Well, that was kind of a weird store, but I guess <laughs> it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Let's do a little bit more exploring here. Let's head over to the monk that's standing here. Good day, what brings you here? Oh ho, surprised to see a monk? Fret not, I'm merely a fellow human being who eats and breathes just as you do. The temple is open to the public during the day. You are most welcome to visit any time. Let's come back another time. We've got something else to do now. Yeah, we'll check out the temple later. Uh, is that an ice cream store? Ooh. Yeah. Coffee, strawberry, green tea. Looks like they have all kinds of flavors. Oh, how about sushi flavored ice cream? Ugh. Shut up, oh, Morgana. Man. Ugh, I just imagined what it tastes like. Yeah, that doesn't that didn't sound tasty. She's gonna follow us around. By the way, so here is the fried food shop. Oh. Holy crap, look at the line. I think I saw the store on TV. Oh, the smell. It looks like their special meat cutlet is their most popular item. Sorry, we only have enough of the special meat cutlet for the people in line right now. Try stopping by at nighttime. Uh, well, I guess we can't do shit if it's this busy. But let's keep in mind that we might be able to buy the special meat cutlet at night. Moving on. Uh, we have a vending machine over here. And around the corner here, we have a Chinese bun shop. Hey, look. Dude, this Nukuman looks as looks so much tastier than the ones at convenience stores. I think these are just meat buns. It does. Hey, you guys want to get one? How about it? Hey, welcome. We're selling our hot and fresh Chinese buns here. Hello. And so we've got three different types. We've got peppery, lapolitan, and juicy. They give you HP. Um, I really don't want any of those. Please come again. I see. Napolitan Nikuman and peppery Nikuman. Man, I wonder what they taste like. I'm totally going to eat it one of these days. Moving on. Uh, we actually want to continue a lot. What, what happened? What was this? Oh, bar. Hmm. I guess these places don't open until nighttime. Wonder what it's like at night. Kind of want to check it out. We actually will be able to check. Do you have anything to say? Anything new to say? No, you're just going to follow us. All right. Well, that's fine. Come along. We have a imported grocery here. They've got some food from foreign countries. Some of these look pretty interesting. Seems like they got some rare stuff. Let's check it out. So they've got Welcome. three different things. They've got corned beef special, cereal multi-pack, and popcorn bomb. Um, this is caramel popcorn. I have no idea what is in these. I know what corned beef is, but like what kind of cereal um, would be in a cereal assorted pack? Like, I don't know. Anyway, we're not buying any of that because it's way too freaking expensive. It's pretty pricey, huh? Maybe I'll buy one someday just to see what it tastes like. Well, it was way too expensive. Let's head down this little alleyway first and take a stop at the Jazz Gin. Oh. A jazz club, huh? Seems like a place for adults. Dude, you get jazz? That's cool. Either way, it looks like it's only open at night. Yeah, we can't actually go there right now, so uh, don't really worry. It doesn't look like there's anything down there of interest. Let's head around the corner and listen into these two gentlemen chit-chatting. With so many people getting tricked into scams, it feels good to see the bad guys cry while they apologize. Which reminds me, I heard some of my customers talking about the Phantom Thieves. Have you heard of them? My kids were talking about them too. Can't quite figure out if it's some kind of prank or a form of blackmail or what. Yeah, I don't even know if they'd be real or not, but wouldn't it be great if they existed? Huh, interesting. Um, what do we got here? Oh, that's the imported goods. So let's move on to the next little road here. Oh. Ah, this is the road. Hey. The name of that shop matches what's on the free tickets. It says Phantom. It says Penguin Sniper, huh? Why'd you give one of those doofy, gir doofy birds a gun? For it's not real? meant to be taken literally. Still, if you're coming up with a good name, well, whatever. Let's check it out. We're gonna get there in a. When did you get over here? We're gonna get there in a moment. Uh, nothing over here. It does look really pretty. I actually kind of. This is like a cafe. What a fancy looking cafe. If I were ever to invite Lady on somewhere, why are you looking at me like that? Well, it does say we can bring pets inside, so maybe it'll be okay. Who are you calling a pet? You look like a cat, dude. I don't know what to do with you. We've got fire steak. Ooh, that sounds good. Try our 40 day aged A5 rank meat. Savor meat that melts in your mouth. 
Stop it, stop it. You're gonna make me want to eat it. This place is dangerous. Let's stay away from here. Well, over here we've got uh, stone on. Whoa, check out all the treasures they have in here. Power stones are those amulet-like things, right? They've got some weird power or something. Let's check it out. All right, so we have a few things that we can buy here and uh, I don't want any of these, but these all amplify certain uh, skills. So like the Psy necklace amplifies psychic skills. Uh, yeah, and then you can also buy black rock, which is a stone that's able to transform into various equipment. I don't care about any of that. And also the prices are just, Come on. I almost got a bloody nose just from looking at those prices. But it looks like they get they actually had some power in them. We ought to check it out sometime. Maybe it'll become maybe it'll come in handy for the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, n n just no, no, thank you. What is this? Hmm. A store that sells only glasses. Check out all the different kinds they have. I keep forgetting, but your glasses are fake, huh? Do you think I'd look smarter if I had glasses on? Why? I'm actually kind of confused. Do I wear the fake glasses because it makes me look cool, or do I wear them to like hide my? myself like I'm legitimately confused let's head down this little alleyway and uh, this is where we want to go an mm. incense store dude I'm telling you it seems freaking fishy you've got no interest in incenses right where would you even use it we can't do anything here for now is Makota still following us she gone <laughs> and uh, I don't think there's really anything else here for us to do so I think it's time to move on Oh, let's listen to these guys here before we move on. I completely mm -hmm. didn't miss these. Ugh, that Matarame is such a fraud. His appearance on Good Morning Japan was full of lies. Can't believe we actually paid to go to see his exhibit. You and your stupid recommendations. Why is it my fault? You were singing his praises not too long ago. I had to cancel golf plans with my boss. All the kids at school are pretending to be Matarame now. How could I possibly apologize to everyone for... <laughs> Mami-chan, stop. Don't copy that criminal. Ugh, your father is such a bad influence. You, you're a terrible mom. Just, just saying. Oh, Aww. here, this is the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. Hmm. Huh, you're such a child. Try not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You don't gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? We're going into Penguin Sniper. That's a new high score. Uh, bull. The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. Kind of like golf. We both you don't want to score. score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on. You have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hmm, sure. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. Here goes. Don't underestimate an ex-athlete. Hell yeah, triple 20. Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. 
you really do have something special going on. Man, <laughs> this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Okay, so uh, let me just get through this real quick here. Um, so I feel like I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuji. And here we have another one. Okay, so let's explain this real quick. So basically, if you come here and play darts, um, you can increase your baton pass rank. So uh, rank one, if you pass the baton to that person, the increase in damage is dealt. If you have rank two, like Ryuji and I have now, uh, you increase your damage dealt, but you also heal HP if you pass it to that person. Rank three also gives SP and even more HP. This can be really useful if you have any sort of like spare time to do this, which we're not gonna have a ton of to do, but if you have like a second playthrough or something where you're playing on Merciless or whatever, hell yeah, do this, cause it's useful. Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. Hmm, someone's dedicated. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Oh, I was thinking like bowling strike. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm. This game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget. We got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again. This is so mundane, well, but I love I it. Home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Like it's just two friends hanging out playing darts with the cat. <laughs> but it's it's so mundane and I just love it. it. Makes me feel good for some reason. Nice and fuzzy on the inside. That actually might be my tea. If I remember correctly, you transfer lines at Shibuya, right? I heard customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Mm. Wow, it's gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out at, check out Kichi Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Akira. Worst comes to worst, I've got your back. Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichi Joji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and it turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says you did and then sues you for damages. So he's like a con artist or like a conflict artist. And the cops? Well, they tried to give him a warning, but when he pretends to be senile, he gets away with everything. We can't just let him go unchecked, right? Only problem is knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichi Joji's Harmony Alley a lot. We're gonna be taking care of that later. This old man sure does sound like a problem. And if we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of heart. Okay, it sounds like our next stop is Kichi Joji. Let's check out this Harmony Alley. We're gonna be getting a bunch of requests and we're gonna be taking care of most of those all at once. And we're gonna be getting additional information all at once and all that kind of good stuff. Hey. Did you find anyone who'll hang out with you at school? Make sure you pick your friends carefully. Oh, thanks Shojiro, really appreciate that. And now, news from artist Ichirayuse Matarame's press conference in which he confessed to his crimes. He has admitted to selling copies of his famous painting Sayuri as the genuine article. Police intend to thoroughly investigate Mr. Matarame for fraud. Matarame is on TV! This is getting to be major news. So, first things first, it is in fact Sunday, so we're heading to the walkway. We want to get our drink. We've done this a million times, so I'm just gonna click through it. Today's will increase our charm, which we need. It's 5,000, oh my gosh, it's 5,000. It's 50 bucks for this drink. Like, holy crap. It's just insane. Anyway, we get one musical note of charm. Totally worth it. And what I want to do right now is save. Tomorrow we will be being hit with chalk and we want to dodge it so we get additional charm. So I'll be right back after I, I don't know why I say I always be right back. It is, you're just not gonna see it, so whatever. 
All right, now that we're done with that, let's check our IMs. We have speech help. I'd like to request your help with another speech. I've been feeling more courageous with you around. How's your schedule looking today? We want to go do this today. So let's say uh, head over immediately. Thank you. Please come to the front of Shibuya Station. I'll be waiting. Everyone. That you possess free will does not mean that you can do always do whatever you please. To make your decisions based simply on loss and gain is to act like a heartless machine. The reason so people few people care about their fellow man is because so few have the energy to do so. We politicians have fallen short of our goal to change society. We need your support more than ever. That approach isn't going to work. You have to get the voters more excited. You're going to completely lose the hearts and minds of the people. Again, what I'd like to say is... What? Councilman Mats Matsushita? It's been so long since we last spoke. I wanted to stop by to see how you were doing. Oh, you have a high schooler volunteering for you, huh? My, times have changed. Do you know about the Kuramoto children? You could say either one of these. I'm going to say, yeah. That was nearly 20 years ago. I'm impressed that you're so interested in politics. I was a member of the Kuramoto children as well. Yoshida and I joined the same year. I made an amazing career change going from a pro wrestler to a diet member. I was elected easily, but I had no idea what I was doing. I realized I wasn't elected on my own merit when I failed to be re-elected for a second term. That was true for the both of us. You made a great comeback, though. You're truly an inspiration. As are you, old friend. You're working harder than everyone on the campaign trail. Oh, there's no need for false praise to impress the boy here. Yoshida's well informed about the inner workings of politics, so I'm sure he'll be a great teacher. However, I suggest you only do as he says and not as he does if you want to become a diet member. And what might that mean? I'm guessing he doesn't know. You really think you can win the election by being completely honest and making good arguments? You've got to secure votes or else you'll be forever known as no good Torah. Without what? honesty and good arguments, there can be no political justice. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard one of your grandiose speeches. Kurosu-kun, was it? Tell me, what about Yoshida here drew you in? You want to say his message. Kurosu-kun. You address matters quite directly for a young person, and it seems you have been taught well. I intend right. to teach him everything I know. That's what we agreed on. Alright, so our bond has gotten deeper here, and we are at rank... Three, and we've unlocked fundraising allows you to ask for large amounts of money during negotiations. This is really useful and we're gonna be using this because you can get more money. All right. And we're gonna want that. We need money, lots and lots and lots of money. By the way, how are things between you and old man Kuramoto? We're yes. still not on speaking terms. There's something I'd like to get your opinion on, so I'll be in touch. Very well. So that reminds me. You may still distrust me because of what happened with the missing party funds. But I'm not the one who pointed the finger at you. That's all I'm gonna say. Why do you have to mention that? Ah, my apologies. That's all for today. Well Good then, job. I'll see you again. We're not quite done here. We do have a follow-up. Here it is. Hello, thanks again for your help today. What a mess. Past mistakes can really come back to bite you. It's hard to feel like you have ever truly escaped them. Some people can fight their way back up, like Matsushita, but many end up suffering under the weights of label. Even after 20 years, I'm still nothing more than no good Torah, but I will not give up. It's true that I lost a lot, but I did learn a great many things along the way. Somewhere in the middle of it all, my old stubbornness was tempered into conviction, my old one redeeming quality. That is why I want you to use your experiences to forge your own conviction. Uh, you want to say you think I'll ever find it? Don't worry, I can already see you're on your way. You just have to refine your experience into knowledge. Uh, I ended up talking longer than I expected. Well, until next time. For the record, as a reminder, he is only available into November, so make sure that you uh, get his confidant done quickly. Did you see the news? About the calling card from the Phantom Thieves, right? It's the way it was written seemed pretty legit. Have they really stolen people's hearts? I can't believe the Phantom Thieves actually exist. Ho ho, but do we? <laughs> it's so gross and humid. 
Today for uh, now for today's train news. Today's headlines are: Hot spots of Tokyo. Penguin Sniper has opened for business in Kichi Joji. What's Penguin Sniper, you ask? A zoo? A pet shop? No, it's a trendy lounge for darts and billiards. Whether you play alone or in a group, how you play is up to you. Oh, it's oh. that one lounge. Next time we go, I'm gonna play darts too. Still, there are there sure are a lot of shops in Kichi Joji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. Morning. The response to Madarame's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. Girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but since my overflow and phantom thief charisma. Oh shit, am I finally starting to be popular with all the fly, huh? Oh no! Something's strange. Of course there is! My uniform, man! My uniform! We're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. Oh god damn it. I gotta go home and change, so you go on ahead. Holy shit, you're pale. Short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up, jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching that famous artist cry his eyes out all over the no artwork he's stolen? Same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Both got weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person is behind all this. The news this morning said a group called the Phantoms are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they got people to confess. I mean, they can't literally be stealing hearts. Blackmail, maybe? Oh, he's coming. Here he is. Gah, made it. Ugh, sprinting first thing in the morning was a bad idea. Well, that's definitely my personal best by a lot. Nice red shirt that doesn't match the rest of the uniform, Ryuji. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report I hate yet. this guy. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. Sir! What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you, as student council president, to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Madarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <sighs> Are we done here? I think we're done here. Did you see Madarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, How could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Oh. Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that. Why are we quick. talking about this at school? Oh, yeah. Don't talk about this at school. Yes, that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap! The social studies trip. Oh, I just want to ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Maybe I'll find my one true love. Oh well, 
Not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. None of us should be on television. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Feels pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? Motorame is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. Are you gonna be okay? There is no need to worry. They have been already... We had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. This is nothing new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? You kidding? There's no way we'd find a target that quick. Hmm, to mementos we go. Great idea. I will keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Hey, hey Karusu. You, you, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel murderous intent. Dodge, 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 duck. Ooh, yeah. Okay, didn't have to reload. Fantastic. Ooh, that was an epic dodge. I can't believe he dodged Yushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> well, whatever. Moving on. Hey. Oh, you've got the entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. Yeah, you want to dodge here so you get those two little musical notes of charm. Yeah, we want that. What a pleasant surprise. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen. So I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. Hmm. Thanks a bunch. Well, you do carry me around in your bag all the time. I've got to show my appreciation somehow. Well, see you around. Um, where's your umbrella? Unfortunately, I forgot it. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Um, you want a piece of <laughs> you want a piece of this as a threat? I don't know what the oh, care to walk together. Um, care to walk together? Let's just go with the nicer answer. Uh huh? But how are? Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. I love clear honest, umbrellas. They look cool. Prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Uh, what the hell is a prelim? Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. Hmm, I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. Why are you disappointed? I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Hmm. <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, no. If anything, it's my own fault. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor can't student. Can't be an honor student, can't School be a transfer student, can't be delinquent. strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me, my father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. 
A bit overprotective, don't you think? Hmm, I must care a lot about you. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. For the record, Excuse if you've me. played this game before and you've actually seen the ending of uh, her social link and whatnot, this is kind of weird. Like, this whole thing just feels odd. Seems pretty rough. Seems like Yoshizawa has it hard, too. But never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? Hey, I found some great intel. This time, it's bullying by a Kosai student they call a queen. She's been ordering around a male student who goes by the name M, kind of like the M in s and &M. Uh, does M stand for Mishima? That's a secret. Anyway, here are the details. The girl is acting like a queen is Hikari Shimizu. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like that if she has an S and has an initial. Huh, what? Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take care, take it on when you have the time. Hopefully you don't end up as an N. What, what, what did he mean by S and M? Those are short shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of the clothes? Anyway, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's find time to consult the others at the hideout. Uh, sadism is the S. Anyway, we're moving on. And we're going to start by going back home to the bathhouse. Because if you're not familiar, it is Monday. And guess what oh. has been restocked? Let's buy this and let's buy this. And now that we've done that, that's pretty much it for taking care of things. We're going to head back to the school. And we're going to go to the practice building because we don't spend a lot of time over there. And uh, we're gonna go to counseling today. Let's listen in on these guys. Oh man, I was laughing my ass off watching that old guy wail and cry in that press conference. Such a disgrace, a famous guy like him exploiting his own people. But I want to know more about the Phantom Thieves. They did the same thing to Kamashita. What if they actually went to Shujin? I wonder if they joined the basketball team. Because that's my first thought is, this, if, if the Phantom Thieves go to my school, I want them to join my, my club. It seems that people from the media are snooping around. This could be a problem. Uh, are you talking to yourself? Oh, ignore what I just said. I can't be attracting too much attention to myself. But I can't just watch idly if someone is robbing the innocent. I had to do something. The world is filled with villains. It's up to the heroes to get rid of them. Yes, it's my destiny. I'm pretty sure that uh, that guy has some issues. All right, well, we're going to go to counseling starting next time. We have a few additional things before we've got some story and yeah we've got like all sorts of things that we're going to be doing so I'm pretty excited to get there but none of that today i will see you guys next time